Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, 2012 preview issue of Nintendo Power. If you remember correctly, and if you've watched my channel for a while, a, a f mm, quite a few videos back, I, I made a video about how I was getting kind of disgusted with Nintendo Power because it, it didn't seem like they were covering anything that they should be covering. Like, you know, that was while we were trying to get Xenoblade out here in the States, <clears throat> and they weren't saying anything about it. So, um, I was very upset with Nintendo Power because I felt, you know, they had the power to, you know, bring these games to a much more, you know, much more wider audience so more people can know about them and, you know, decide if they want them or not. But, um, I got the 2012 preview issue here, and I'm sure by now everybody, you know, that subscribes to Nintendo Power has this, but I thought this would be kind of fun just to kind of, I dog-eared some pages up there. Just kind of go through it and um, point out some things. Uh, this issue is really good. If you don't have a subscription to Nintendo Power, but you like Nintendo, you like the DS, the 3DS, you know, Wii, uh, you want to see some stuff about the Wii U. There's not a lot in here about the Wii U, but there's a little bit. Um, go out and find this issue at your, you know, wherever you buy your magazines at. Um, <clears throat> Happy Console Gamer actually just did a video about magazines and how video game magazines are really important and stuff like that. And um, if I would have had this ep this issue when I was a little kid, I would have sat and just poured over the, the images of these games. You know, I remember back in the day pouring over Nintendo Power, looking at um, like the import watches when they were talking about Final Fantasy three and stuff like that, and the possibility of it coming over here. <clears throat> it was um. It's definitely kind of a lost era in this. You can just go on the internet and find anything you want to about video games. You can find, you know, gameplay videos and stuff like that. And um, it really, video games have lost some of the mystery and mystique um, that they once had. Which is why I still subscribe to Nintendo Power, EGM, and Game Informer. Because I do like to um, get the, the magazines and kind of relive as much as my childhood as I can by just, you know, pouring over these pages over and over again. So let's go ahead and open this up here and get this started. I don't know how well this is going to work because, as you can see, magazines like to flip up. But uh, let's see if I can figure out where the first... The first thing in here, you know, you get through all these introductory pages and stuff, they finally have a big thing on Xenoblade, which we we're finally finally getting. If you I know I talk about this game like it seems like I talk about this game every video, but I am just I'm I'm really excited for it. I'm worried that I'm overhyping myself for it, but um Game Informer uh, in their new issue has also done a, a big thing about Xenoblade too, but you know that's not too surprising since Game Informer's owned by GameStop. Um but Nintendo Power finally is giving this the recognition it deserves and uh you know there will be a little surprise later on. Now, the full the, the circle pad here, that's actually something interesting. I'm actually looking into getting it because I like how it adds some bulk to the 3DS. And, you know, uh, I'm having the same problem with my 3DS as I had with my DS Lite, which is it's so small that, like, m the sides of my hands here get numb from playing it. So probably, probably early onset carpal tunnel syndrome there or something. Uh, big thing on Rayman Origins here. Uh, I do really want to get this game. Um, I'm planning on getting it on the PS3. So, uh, eShop stuff. Uh, for you guys that have the uh, 3DS and are looking for some old school games, this is a great resource right here because it shows, you know, the Donkey, uh, the Game Boy Donkey Kong is one of the best games ever made. I haven't done my Game Boy collection because it's actually kind of small. Um, I might do it here soon. Just do my Game Boy and my Game Boy Advances together. It's been a while since I've done a collection video. But um, this is a fantastic game and one of my favorite games of all time. Gargoyle's Quest is awesome. Kirby's Dream Land, it's the only Kirby game I own, and I, I think it's fantastic. It's pretty simple, but it's fun. Do Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge, fantastic Mega Man game on the portable. I couldn't believe that they did it on the portable systems. Um, you got Metroid 2 The Return of Samus, fantastic game. Mario Land 2. I don't own any of the Mario Lands. The first one I hear is not very good, but I hear Mario Land 2 is very awesome, so definitely check that out. And, of course, Link's Awakening. Let's keep going here. There's more stuff. This is um, just like, yeah, D or is that DSiWare? Yeah, DSiWare stuff. So, and a uh, big review of Metroid 2 Return of Samus here. Then they recommend it, of course. It's a pretty fantastic game. A lot more linear than... The other stuff. Kid Icarus Uprising. I'm actually really getting excited for this game. It was a game that kind of was off my radar, but now after reading this article and seeing all the stuff that's in it, 
and um, it's got a weird control scheme where you use the circle pad and the DS stylus to attack and stuff. So they're actually packaging a stand with the the game, so you can set it on your table and it won't kill your right wrist or your left wrist when you um, hold the system. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. The graphics look amazing. It, it, uh, it's made by the people that uh, did um, Super Smash Brothers, so you know the quality is going to be there. But um, just a huge article on that, so very getting very excited for that. Little thing about Luigi's Mansion 2, I know a lot of people are excited for that. This is actually kind of interesting, this shifting world game. It's black and white, and you use, like, I think you use the gyro controls to, like, shift the world around. And, uh, I don't know, look into it. Uh, the little article here doesn't really give a lot of information. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 2. I've heard a lot about Devil Survivor 1. Um, <clears throat> and um, I'm definitely going to have to uh, look into this series because um, I'm, I'm kind of getting into the Shin Megami Tensei games. But there's a big article on that, which is interesting because, uh, you know, RPGs don't really get the recognition nowadays. And then, then here's some stuff, just some 3D stuff. I've heard that a lot of people are really excited for this Rhythm Thief and Emperor's Treasure, but it doesn't seem like something I would be interested in. But there's a big article on that, too. And uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. I've already played it. Paper Mario for the 3DS. Everyone, you know, really um, wants to get that. I really want to get that. Uh, nice little write-up about that. Heroes for Hire, or no, Heroes for, of Ruin, sorry. Um, this actually seems really interesting. It's a new Square or Square Enix um, RPG for the uh, 3DS, and the graphics just look amazing. Like, let me just hold this up here, see if you, I don't know if that picks up. The graphics just look amazing. I'm really kind of getting surprised about this 3DS. And then we have the, you know, the editors, blah, blah, blah. Some of them say they do want Xenoblade, but who knows. <laughs> um... This is a big thing that I was really excited about because this is uh, what we hope to see in 2012. And um, a lot of games on here that I really want. And I, I, you know, it says that they're not confirmed from North American release, but with the way that um, Nintendo Power treated Xenoblade, with it, you know, we're not knowing if we're going to get it. I can only assume that these games are going to come out here because otherwise, why would they cover them? You know what I mean? They didn't cover Xenoblade. Because they weren't sure it was, if it was coming out or not. But, um, you know, so I'm, I'm really assuming these are coming out. And we have the Fire Emblem for the 3DS, which I'm really excited for. I really hope we get it, because that'd be a great addition to my 3DS. Beyond the Labyrinth, a Tri-Ace game by Konami. It actually sounds very interesting. It says it's like an Etrian Odyssey dungeon crawler, which I don't have a lot of dungeon crawlers. But I would definitely be interested in getting that. Uh, Bravely Default Flying Fairy. I hope they change the name, but it's a very interesting sounding RPG from Square Enix. Um, Monster Hunter 3G. I have Monster Hunter Try for the Wii, so I probably won't get this, but, um, you know, people who uh, want to play Monster Hunter on the go, there you go. Time Travelers by Level 5. There's a lot of Level 5 games here, guys. Um, this actually sounds kind of interesting. As Does Good People Die, which is kind of a sequel to 999. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. So that I I, I haven't played nine 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 yet, but um, I'm interested in this because of all the people that said um, how great nine 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 was. Professor Layton for those who like the Professor Layton games. I've never played one. I know I need to. Um, and then Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime Three. Uh, I love Dragon Quest. I've never played this series of Dragon Quest games though, so um, I'd probably pick that up if it came out. And then here we have something on the Wii U, which, of course, it's just showing a bunch of games that are coming out on the current uh, generation systems now, like Arkham City. Ninja Gaiden 3 is coming out sometime this year. Uh, Darksiders 2, you know, this is all just stuff that's coming out this year on, that, you know, you can get earlier on the 360 and the PS3. So I don't really know why Nintendo or Nintendo Power is, like, pushing us, like, oh, look at all these great games that are coming out for the console when you can easily get this on another console, so... Let's start seeing some exclusive stuff, okay? Uh, the Nintendo Power Awards, who cares? You can you can look at this list and you can tell what games are going to win. It's it's pretty ridiculous. And I think I have some other things. Yeah, I got some other things dog-eared here. Uh, big review here for the new Resident Evil. I'm actually kind of actually looking forward to it now. It sounds like it's going to go back to the more survival horror... Um, <clears throat> survival horror 
type of game instead of being like you know Resident Evil Five where you were just running around shooting things. So huge two page or four page article. Um, so definitely uh, definitely kind of cool to see that. Of course, it's one of the biggest 3DS games coming out. So um, yeah, I don't care. Uh, different point. Uh, Crush 3D. I've actually kind of listened to this game. It kind of sounds interesting. Um, what it is is it's like a 3D platformer, but with a touch of a button, you can crush the uh, the world down to a 2 2D view, so you can move around. So it's kind of got um, it's kind of got that um, oh shit. What was I gonna say? Um, Super Paper Mario. You know how it, you could flip the world around to get around obstacles. It's kind of like that. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Uh, Tales of the Abyss. They have a big two-page article on it. Um, they gave it a seven, but it's main, mainly because it's um, sort of an antiquated game, you know, with it being on the PS2. Um, they say that the 3D was kind of, you know, sl slapdash put on, so... Uh, mainly the big thing is, like, the word bubbles will pop out at you when people are talking, but, like, the background stuff isn't necessarily 3D. But they do say it's a, it's a, a good game. They just say that kind of Namco Bandai was kind of lazy with bringing it to the 3DS. And the reviews archive. And this is actually kind of cool. This person made these out of linoleum. Um, I, I really like at the end here the community pages where they show like artwork and stuff because a lot of it's really cool. Like this, I'm, I'm kind of into these doing these beads. And uh, that is an amazing version of Link. Um, I'm really kind of intimidated by that because <laughs> I've just kind of started doing it. And I don't think I could make something that good. But, uh, yeah. And then I had a dog ear the last page because next month they're going to have a big thing on Xenoblade. So if you guys are interested in Xenoblade and um, you're like me and you don't necessarily want to watch, watch a bunch of stuff on, online, definitely pick up the next issue of Nintendo Power because they're going to do a big thing on it. So that is that. I don't know if that was a cool video or not, but I just kind of want to go through and kind of talk about stuff that was in there. Um, game discussion videos. I have a, you know, I haven't talked about video games for a while because I've been working through games. Um, I am ridiculously close to finishing Tales of Eternia, so I'll probably that'll probably be the first um, game discussion video. I'm um, getting close to finishing Cave Story 3D, so that, look for that. Um, I am getting kind of close to finishing Digital Devil Saga. Um, I'm, at, I'm at a point where I have to grind out a bunch of mantras. So um, <laughs> this is one of those games, a little, just a little brief thing. This is one of those games where you kind of have to have certain magic in order to beat enemies. Like, there's only one way to really beat an enemy well. So if you don't have that magic spell, you kind of have to grind out stuff. So, but, um, <clears throat> so I have to grind out this piece of magic that, of course, is at the end of the mantra tree. It's going to take me a while to do. but um, So we're going to have those game discussion videos coming up here soon. Um, I have a mystery unboxing for something that I don't really talk... I didn't really talk about on the channel wanting. Um, but uh, that'll be coming up as soon as... Um, it hasn't shipped out yet, but as soon as it ships and gets here, we'll be do doing a mystery unboxing. Um, and then, of course, I will have my... Uh, uh, January pickups. I'll probably do an unboxing of Final Fantasy 13 2 although everyone will. Um, so I, I'll, I'll add my video to the, the sea of unboxings for the collector's edition. But um, that's some stuff coming up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If uh, you guys are interested in reading any of these articles, this issue is out in the stores still because Nintendo Power is now a bi monthly uh, magazine because, of course, magazines are on the way out. Boo hiss to that. I love buying magazines. I love getting magazines in the mail. So uh, definitely run out to your grocery store. Your If you have a bookstore in your town, um, definitely go out and get there. I know a lot of towns have lost their bookstores because of borders and Walden books going out. But uh, definitely run out and get this and read some of this stuff because this was actually a fantastic issue. I've actually uh, rekindled some of my love of Nintendo Power with this after that horrible... Mario Kart 7 issue. I know a lot of people love Mario Kart. I really like Mario Kart, but I just... I just uh, Mario... Oh, ah, uh, Mario Kart. But I just... I, th I think Nintendo um, is starting to rely on sort of the old battle axes instead of creating new stuff. But with Kid Icarus and with um, Xenoblade, I definitely think Nintendo might be ready to try some new IPs. So, good issue. Hope you liked me talking, rambling about it. Um, 
I've got some new stuff coming up, but I want to make a video because, I don't know, I, I've been talking about music for a while and I feel like I need to get back on games and start talking about games again since that's primarily why a bunch of you guys subscribe to me. So, um, great issue. Uh, video's coming up. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.